Okay, we have to start over. Rick called. Okay, guys, I'm in the gathering place, and I am open carrying. This is what I'm carrying today, and we're going to demonstrate that open carry is allowed in the gathering place today. So we're going to spend an hour or so here. We're going to walk around, and enjoy the park. Uh, I'm going to meet up with a few special guests today. So we just entered the park. We've got the security right there. So they saw me. So if it's not legal, it shouldn't be long before I am approached. You see, I'm, they're calling on me right now. Hey, what's up? I was going to ask that security officer about their um, policies or whatever, but she ran off. Hello. Doing good. Yeah, kind of like that. We're documenting that you can open carry here today. After November 1st, you won't be able to open carry. They passed some laws that were supposed to... Yeah. In the parks? Yeah, in the parks you can carry right now. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, after November 1st, you can't open carry, but you can conceal carry. Mm -hmm. This park has a policy that says no firearms whatsoever. Mm -hmm. But state law says you can carry. So a lot of people are touting the House Bill 2010 that passed as... Oh, look at this great thing we got. We can now carry in the park. Well, you already can. Yeah. What it does is it's going to restrict our rights when it comes in. Yeah. So I'm going to spend an hour walking around and prove it. Let's see if they say something. Yeah. If you could put your beer in the patio, oh, I appreciate I'm sorry. it. Thank you. Okay. I wasn't sure. So, yeah, the security got on to him for drinking a beer out from under the patio, um, but said nothing to me about my open carry uh, gun. It is uh, May 2019. I'm at the gathering place. And uh, we're going to do a little walkthrough, guys. Um, we're going to prove that it is um, legal and uh, there, there was no need for any type of house bills. Hey, wait, Lee, I'm going to take you to the mall. Yeah. And we're going to take you dress shopping. We got to get some fashion going on, buddy. I do got to get some fashion. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not so much worried about it today, though. We gotta get you some camo, some BDU. I've got that stuff. When uh, when we suit. when we have our gun rally, I'm gonna be wearing my multi cam. You need to be wearing yeah. your ghillie suit, man. Yep. Be hiding the bushes. Are you live? Are you live? I'm not live. Okay. I'm static, so I have good quality. That's what I'm not static. Yeah. I go live and push a button, so everything yeah. No, we are, we we're just going to document that it's legal and no one says nothing. Oh, no, you already have snowflake melt while I go talk security that you carry. Huh? You already have snowflake melt. Where? Up there. He was over talking about security lady. Oh, yeah, they can yeah. talk all day long. If you can, record their conversations. Okay. That's the sweet part. Okay. They're not going to do it around me. No, no, no. They walked off and they hear They already about called me in. Yeah. Well, yeah. They called you in where? I'm telling you. I know, they're not. Well, they, well, oh, somebody already, somebody already called you in? Yeah, the, the security radioed me in. Oh, yeah. Well, you'll have somebody on your ass here, man. That's all right. Yeah. So guys, it's May 2019, and I'm open carrying in the gathering place, and we're going to see if there's any issues with it, with uh, with the current law, security procedures here, whatever, and we're going to see the difference between now and November 1st. So at the point in time right now, uh, you can open carry in city parks in Tulsa or anywhere in Oklahoma, and we're going to see the reaction here. So play this video back after November 1st, 2019, and let me know if the House Bill 2010 helped us or hurt us with our gun rights. Yeah. Well, you want to take a tour of the place? You haven't seen it, so we want to walk around? Let's go walk. Where do we want to go? All right. So I think this place right now is 66 acres, and uh, it opened last year. Me, Rick, and Mike came. This is a place 
place you need to bring the, the grandkids. Yep. So there's going to be a rally June 1st, 2019, in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, at 10 a.m. in Nine House Park. And it's going to support Picture Perfect, uh, who is an auditor and has a channel and had an issue with the place. We, uh, we're going to have an open carry rally during Rose Festival. Uh, got Open Carry Texas coming. Got uh, quite a few people who have committed to coming. So. A nice playground. This, this place is uh, what they call a public trust. Um, it is a collaboration between the city and a foundation. And uh, thank you. The initial... Uh, complaint was that it's private property and they can do as they want with their rules um, so myself Oki Audits, Picture Perfect we came here on opening day and we we tested that and uh, they kicked us out uh, they told us we were in violation, the police did, Tulsa PD and the basically the video the news story went viral around this part of the state of Oklahoma and uh, Tulsa PD finally came out with with a statement saying that, and the Tulsa City Attorney saying they were not comfortable with uh, their ruling of enforcing park rules, which are contrary to state law. So, um, well, we basically won that battle. So I am uh, walking around with an AR pistol. I'm open carrying my handgun, and we are going to just walk the park. And uh, you can do it open right now. Uh, the law allows it. They're uh, it is covered under state law, and, and we're good to go right now. As you see, we're going to see if security approaches. If anyone approaches and tries to tell me to leave or cover up my uh, my firearms, uh, we're going to see how that goes. And I'm, I am going to try to get some interaction with security here shortly and uh, just get them on record. So nice day, beautiful day. <laughs> Oh, yeah? Got a couple other people here. Picture Perfect is with me. Um, Radio and me, he's got my back. We'll come look at this uh, thing right here. Huh? A sea dew? Yeah. I wonder if that's their we need to go rescue people boat because uh, they, uh, they have canoes and kayaks and stuff like that. Is that a turtle? Turtle? Yep. Let's let's look at the turtle. Yeah. By who? Oh, that's good. I need a fan club. There's a little turtle right there. Yeah, Andrew and I already walked. <laughs> we walked all the way through here trying to get to the side you were on. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, it's all right. Yeah, I said I was going to be on the north one. I know. Also, you might watch my stock there. The blade oh, yeah. seems to be wanting to pull out on me. So we might have to occasionally push it back in. It's not designed for this. Why don't you get a... Uh, I have a set screw in mine. Yeah, I need to tighten that. I, I haven't done it. I forgot when I built the thing. Hey, but this is the giveaway uh, raffle rifle for um, for the uh, 2nd July 1st for the raffle. Yeah, for the 2nd Amendment rally in Broken Arrow. This is the... Here, show them. Give them a view of it. Let them see it. And you guys can see this is the raffle rifle. We'll be uh, raffling this for five dollars a ticket, uh, June first in Broken Arrow, and you could walk away with that. That could be yours if you uh, come in and support 
uh, the Second Amendment rally in Broken Arrow. Um, let's see, let's walk around a little bit. I don't see. Oh, she is? Okay. Yeah, now we're being followed by security, and that's their procedure. That's their protocol here. Here's so they can't throw me out and they know it it's because state law because the state law says that you can carry in a city park or state park yeah so what was what was it necessary what was not necessary was the big to do they had when we carried here the day that they opened and they kicked us out just about by force and wouldn't let us back in and then their city legal determined they were in the wrong so now here we are making a point that we can carry in these parks and this man right here Picture Perfect and Oki Audits, we made that point and got the city of Tulsa to rescind their uh, police department from enforcing park rules. From now on, they will only enforce law. State law, city law, whatever it is, the law. Cool, yep, they're saying the guns are cool. But, uh, uh, so HB 2010 was definitely not necessary. Yep, House Bill 2010 uh, was ran through the Senate and, and the uh, House this year as a stopgap because people didn't want you to see guns in these public trust parks. So, uh, you, it, it does codify your right to carry here, but you must conceal. So, we actually lose some ground in that respect. We, after November 1st, you will not be able to see a gun in here, which makes some people feel better. But the fact is, we can still carry here, but you just can't see it. So. Now the bad guys, if they want to do something, will conceal their gun until they want to do it, and you'll never know it's coming. Right now, they're watching me. I'm being watched, but I'm not being infringed upon. And I'm okay with that. So now when somebody comes here to do something bad, they're going to hide it in a bag until they get where they want to be, and there you go. No one's going to know. I'm going to be here for an hour or so, walking around. Everyone's going to know where I'm at. They're going to know who I am. Nothing's going to happen. No one said anything. I mean, you've got a few snowflakes yeah. melting as they walk by. But you've had as many supportive... There are um, people supportive of it as well. There there are some that are thumbs up for it. Hold it, what? Oh, yeah. Well, they can check me out. <laughs> got a drink? Big. Mm -hmm. I'm watching tadpoles. They're big. I bet they are. Hey, how's it going? I want to sit here and listen to y'all's radios for a little bit. No. Yeah. It's private. <laughs> it's in public. It's private. Public. So if I got, got a P25 radio that can intercept your your communications, I could listen to it. Because I know exactly how to do that. So if you want to. why can't I listen to your radio? I mean, you've let everybody else here listen to it. It's yours. Okay. Y'all like watching people, but you don't like people watching you. We're doing our job. Yeah, I could do the me same too. Thing. I could watch you too. You can. I, I actually okay. encourage that. Okay. Yeah. Don't yeah. I know it's hard not to. Just they wouldn't let me listen to the radio. It's because they're talking shit. <laughs> According to you, they really sound that way, but I sincerely I doubt that. If they are, they'll check my ID and go. They know you can't carry, so they just wonder who this new guy is. Yeah. Eh, they might know me. Well, they know who you are. Yeah. You had a quiet day today? No comment. No comment. Okay. 
It'll work, yeah. They won't come in on their day. They're very... Mm -hmm. from somebody that works here. Oh, I know the person, yeah. Yeah, that said that they have been instructed to follow him. Not, not yeah. yeah. That's it. Simple as that. Yep. Follow and not engage. Well, they can talk, I mean. They just uh, I would just let it go. Mm -hmm. I don't anticipate anybody coming. I don't either. Do we want to go? To, where do we want to go? This one. Okay. It's okay. Is it just, yeah, that might be a little bit better. Did you want to hold it on me? You can. There's this thing in the back. You can do it so you don't touch buttons.